I found Quentin Reiser, state cross-country qualifier. Quentin, how do you prepare for the race that's coming up this weekend? Uh, you know, I've just been doing a lot of the same things I always do. Just keep on running, obviously. Uh, still do my speed workouts, my leg circuits, and uh, all that fun stuff, especially wearing my tan pants on Tuesdays. That helps me with my, um, with my running ability. I'm sure it does. It sounds like a lot of hard work. What do you hope to achieve this weekend at state? You know, obviously the uh, the big goal that I've had this season is to become state champ. So I uh, hope I can have that happen and uh, hope we can just run a great race and get a big PR. It sounds great goal. Quentin, how's the team help you uh, achieve your goals this season? Uh, the team has helped greatly. They're, they're a bunch of great guys. And uh, even though they did, we didn't make it to state as a team, they're still out there practicing with me every day after school to help me uh, better myself and run at the best of my ability at state. Sounds like a dedicated group of guys. Thanks, Quentin. Thank you. Hi, I caught up with Taylor and the Volkmans. I found them running out here. Taylor, how did you guys do this weekend? Uh, we played second this weekend at regionals. And what did you get individually? I also played second. What did you guys get individually? I got 11th and I took 8th. That's good, that's good. Uh, how do you guys feel about this upcoming weekend since you are going to state? We're really excited to make it to state again as a team. Um, this is one of, our, one of our goals from the beginning of the season, so we're really excited to be able to go down there and compete. That's good. And what are you guys' uh, goals, like individually and as a team, going down to state this weekend? Um, individually, I would like to get top 50. And as a team, I hope we place top four. And you? Uh, I agree with the team standing. And I haven't really thought about it, but I'm kind of looking at top 30. <laughs> There we go. We got some competition. All right, thanks, guys. I caught up with Quentin Reiser here as he's eating his post-race snack. Quentin, how did you do this weekend at the state cross-country meet? You know, I did pretty good. I ended up getting fourth place, so that was good. That's, that's very good. What are some factors that you think affected uh, your race this weekend? You know, the wind was very strong. We had gusts of over 30 miles per hour, so I just tucked in behind a guy and ran the race behind him all, the whole, pretty much the whole way. Um, the coaches have helped greatly, given me the race strategy, you know, prepping me for this race. Um, and the final thing, of course, is wearing tan pants on Tuesdays. That, that is always plays a big benefit in my racing career. Of course, those are some, those are some major factors, especially the tan pants. Quentin, uh, what's, uh, what's in store for you the rest of the year? Because I know you run all year round. Yeah, I, um, I have a couple more meets this year. I have the um, Nike Midwest meet I'll be competing in, the uh, Mideast Meet of Champions I'll be running for the state of Ohio, and Foot Locker Midwest. All right, sounds like you got a great career going. Thanks, Quentin. Thank you. Hey, we're here with the uh, senior captains of the football team this year. I'm going to hand it over to Luke and let, let him ask a question real quick. What are your guys' expectations uh, for the game tomorrow? Uh, well, we're going to try to come out, do our best, execute, and win the game. Anything from Zach? Much of the same as Tony said. Very good. How about you, Mr. Coffin? It's going to be exciting. All right, what do you guys think is, are the keys to success to win this game against Genoa? Uh, I think we just have to come out ready to play and win the battle up front. We just have to do what we're told, um, do what the coaches tell us, and play hard. Always. Uh, I feel like all we got to do is stop the run game, and we're good. They do have a strong run game. Are there any players to be looking out for this game Friday? Um, all the running backs in Genoa's backfield are pretty solid, so we got to uh, make sure we control them. But for Wasi, on number 66, one to watch out for, for sure. Yes, definitely. Joshua, can you give us a quick recap on how your senior year has gone so far with the football season? Well, we're 10-0. and 0. We uh, are outright league champs, and so it's going pretty well right now. That's very outright. Now, Werder, can you, uh, can you give us any of your season goals that you have for the rest of the playoffs and the rest of the season for the team? Uh, well, we're going to want to win the game or else our season's over. So win a game. There you go. Thanks, guys. Hey, I'm here with the senior football players, Dylan Schantz, Jackson Sluter, and Jalen Brimmer. D Dylan, can you just tell me what you guys think the keys to success against this game against Genoa is going to be? Well, this game's going to be one in the trenches. It's all going to come down to the linemen, staying low and moving people. Jackson, what do you think? 
Um, I think it's going to come down to our passing game and getting outside the line. Right, right. And Jalen, how about you? Um, everyone just has to do their job on defense, and I think offensively we can take care of ourselves. So what are you guys' expectations going into this game on Friday? We're going to win. I also think we're going to win. Right, right. We're going to move that dope and get a dub. Get that dub. Thanks, guys. I found some of my fellow student section leaders, Matoki Maxed and Trevor Dominic. What are the expectations for the student section at the Genoa game this coming Friday? Yeah, well, uh, thanks for the question, Grant. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, I expect it to be by far our best student section this year. Um, it'll definitely be our largest, which is always important. So, you know, we always have pretty good uh, support from the junior and senior class, so we can just have the involvement and support from the freshmen and sophomores. You know, I think, I think it'll be a, a rowdy, good student section. Sounds like an enjoyable time, Trevor Dominic. Mojo Maxted, what have we been doing to prepare for this game come Friday? Well, uh, homeboy Trevor, he's got some nice shirts lined up for everyone in the student section that actually ordered one. I'll actually show you guys. It's pretty cool. Um, nice design on the front, picture on the back. Looks dope fresh, you know what I'm saying? All right. Thanks, guys.